Hi guys, um, what I thought I might do today is go over how to create an interactive document using InDesign and that's one of our assessments coming up. So let's jump right in and I'm going to create a new document and uh, I'm going to use this 1920 by 1080p uh, or perhaps, yeah, that's a good screen size. We'll probably go and create that straight away like that. Bang, and off we go. Create the new. And I want to make sure that this document settings, document setup, I want to make sure that I don't have facing pages checked. That's very important. We're not creating a book, we're creating an interactive document. Uh, we're going to need a number of pages, so we'll start off with five and we'll go from there. Okie dokie. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going to put some content on the page very, very quickly and I'm just going to put a little bit of a box in here, just building a bit of content. I'm just going to put my layers off there for the time being. Right, so we're building this magazine that's our little project. So this is going to be a photograph or something along those lines and I'm going to put some type in here just to build a little bit of content. So we'll place a lot of text. There we go, that's our page. Beautiful, and maybe it's got a heading, so maybe it's um, page one. So I've got a bit bigger, and I'll set that to the left side. Beautiful thing. All right, this is my page one. This is my document layer. Now I'm going to speed through this, and I'm just going to copy that element and paste that onto page two, so I can into my second page now. Two, and perhaps we might even change that to a different colour just so that we see that this thing is working beautiful like such. Uh, and we're just going to keep going ahead here, building a little bit of content that differs from page to page. And of course, this is just a simulation, so we're not, in fact, uh, doing a beautiful thing here right now. I'm just showing you how that the interactive document will work. So here's my Content for my pages, there we go, and that is, what is that? That's page four, I think. Okay, so I've got page one, page two, page three, and page four. I might just pop that page up to the top. I've got a blank page, and this could be my own page, or my cover page, or my splash page. So it might be, welcome to, that up. Center, center that guy. Okay, this is your magazine. This is your home page for your magazine, your cover page almost, if you like to think about it that way. Okay, so boom, page one, page two, page three, and page four. Beautiful thing. All right, um, so we've got a little document here. It's got several pages in it. Uh, but we're trying to make this interactive document here. We're just trying to almost simulate the way that a, um, a web page functions. And to do that, we're gonna need a navigation system. Now, you could uh, put some type up the top to simulate that, and I might have uh, home. I'm just gonna get a type layer out here. And that might be home. Pop it a bit so we can see it a little bit like such. Left, okay, and they, these this will work for us for the time being. So there's my home button, there is my next button, there's my other button, and there is my other button, and maybe one more for, for good luck. So it'll be page one, copy, paste, 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 and so that's one. Two, three, and page four. So we've got some structure in place here. All right, okay. So um, this is all really good, but what I'm gonna need obviously is for my navigation to appear across every page. That makes a bit of sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take these page numbers, I'm going to copy those and I'm going to delete them 
And I'm going to head over to my master pages and my master pages, as we know, um, allow me to um, have something appear on every page. So what I'm going to do is edit and paste in place. So then I have across all of my document some lovely navigation, well, it, it buttons at this stage. Um, so how are we going to make this work? So I'm on my master page now and I'm selecting all of those bits of text and they, they could be images or circular dots or squares or anything, a bit funky, but I'm just going pretty basic for the exercise here. But yes, they could be circles, they could be, uh, yeah, nice other little kinds of buttons. But as I say, I'm just doing a nice quickie here. Um, what I'm doing is right clicking, command and clicking on these things and I'm gonna use my interactive menu and I'm gonna convert those to buttons. That's it, convert to buttons. And we'll just ignore that for one moment, but it tends to say that they all have this checkered bar around them. That designates that they are buttons and they can trigger events or things to happen essentially. So, all right, first stage is done. That's the hard part. Now, what I'm gonna need here is to go to my interactive menu, window, window, interactive, and I'm looking for this thing called bookmarks. Bookmarks, bookmarks. And there's my little bookmark drop up menu there. Now, we're gonna set up a series of bookmarks that are associated with pages. Pages go to bookmarks. So double clicking on the home page and down the bottom of your bookmarks menu, you've got a little plus button. Make sure you're on your home page or whatever page you're working on. Once you're on your page, as you can see it's highlighted with blue. And I'm gonna create a bookmark and I'm gonna call that home. Beautiful. I'm going to double click into page one and I'm going to create a bookmark that is page and so forth. Double clicking on page two and I'm going to create a bookmark. Guess what? Page three and so forth. Oh, no, that is page two, isn't it? My bad. Page two. Beautiful, that makes a bit more sense. Uh, page two has a bookmark, page three, new bookmark. And I'm going to make sure I have a bookmark. So window, 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 interactive. Make sure my bookmarks are open, there they are. So I'm on page three, page two, page three is page three. There we go. And finally, one more click, the button and page four. Very good, that's it. So we can check that our bookmarks work, that we click on each of the bookmarks and they should take us to the individual pages, which is super cool. Okay, we're nearly there. So as long as your bookmarks, as you click onto each of the bookmarks, it goes to that particular page so that you know that you're on the right track. Just love that. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that seems to be working fine. So I'm just gonna push that down there for a second. And I'm gonna go back to my master pages. And that's where we created those buttons a bit earlier. So clicking on that button, and you can see the buttons and forms menu is up here, right next to me. Here it is a button that we know that it's a button. And we're gonna tell the event to be the click event. And we're gonna click the actions to go to destination. So that's gonna to go to the destination within this document of home. That seems to work. And you can create rollovers for these things as well. And I'll get into that in another lesson. But essentially we have a, a regular state and a rollover state. And that means I could turn the opacity of that button down or perhaps even change the color of the button. But I'm just gonna make it a little bit weaker so you can see that as I roll over it, there'll be a little bit of visual feedback. Okay, 
to repeat, clicking on your button, um, on click, that's fine. We want to go to destination, that is the key. And we want to go and assign the correct destination of page one. Beautiful, I'm not gonna do the rollers for the others, I just wanna keep this short and sweet. So I'm gonna go through each of those individually. I'm ensuring that the event is click, the action will be go to destination. That looks good. Make sure your destination is correct. It's very easy to get this wrong. You've got to think and concentrate. Uh, you take your mind off the job, you'll, you'll lose the plot. Just go through it systematically. Your page button has to click and you want to go to a destination. And your destination corresponds with your bookmarks that we created earlier. So there we go. One more time. Click on destination and I need to go to my fourth page. There we go. That looks to be sorted. Right, I'm just going to save that now. Call that uh, PDF. PDF. Test. Okay, I'm just going to put that down on my desktop for now, time being. I'm just going to say save. Okay, that's there. Now, make this work. What we're going to do is we're going to go to File and we're going to Export. And we're going to export that out as a PDF interactive document. You have a series of different uh, output sort of modules here. But um, for this particular one here, we're just going to go to that like so. And we're going to output like so, and it'll give us a bit of a menu here. Single page, fit to page, not gonna worry about too much of that. You can have transitions, you can have flips and splits and have a bit of fun with this, but I might have a wipe. That might look a bit corny, but we'll go with it anyway. Um, not, make, not gonna change much here, but I'm just gonna hit export, and hopefully that will open up like a beauty in my page. I'm gonna say yes to this business here. And then with a bit of luck, if we've done this correctly, we can track through to each of our pages via interactive menu. And that is looking super cool at this stage. All right, I'm gonna leave it right there. I hope uh, that that's helpful. Um, we can make some amazing things with this uh, technology. Um, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna pick it up in another lesson shortly with more to come. But right now, I'm gonna end the lesson and uh, I hope that helps. I'll see you in class.